As a Mexican, I want to try to represent my culture as something positive. Sometimes there are a lot of stereotypes about immigrants in general. Yeah, I just want to show that we are here to contribute to society. My name is Miguel Ayuso. I am an artist living in Brooklyn. I am the owner of La Bodega Studios. La Bodega Studios is my personal working space, gallery, a learning center, and a community center as well. We try to showcase work from all ages, all backgrounds, artists from different techniques, coming from different places. As a community space, every time we have an opening, we try to connect with as much as people as we can. We encourage them to bring their ideas here to our studio. And also as my personal place of working is where I do my work as a graphic designer. I sometimes go out and make murals. So this is where I prepare all my materials and everything. What I like about the process of making a mural is that sometimes I go and I see a wall that, you know, is, is in, in really bad conditions. Sometimes when I start the, the project, the wall hasn't even been built. Uh, sometimes I have to paint it all white first before I start, you know, designing even. And, and it's always amazing for me to see my work in such a large scale. I'm making this mural for soccer studios where they're going to be teaching children and youth and even adults how to play soccer. It's going to be training soccer and yeah, I think it's going to be good for the community. The name of La Bodega for my studio and gallery comes from, well, initially the fact that it was a bodega before I got it. and I, I like that about, about it. And but the second idea is that when you, I go to a bodega, you find a lot of things. So this is the same idea that you can get all of different artists yeah, from different backgrounds, from different uh, yeah, areas and, and different styles that you can imagine. And what I'm trying to say is that just like a bodega depends on what the client wants, I depend on what my community wants and when, whatever they ask me to do here, I try to bring it so, so they can have it. Dos regulares. Están filmando para algo de la tele. ¿Cuántos tres? Dos. Para acá, está bien. The idea of opening La Bodega Studios came from my wish to create community. I had been living here in New York for almost 10 years. I feel like, you know, New York is a community and it's a place that is always changing. I just wanted to have this community. And also, at the time, I was kind of trying to make a contradiction about the current, you know, administration, about Mexican people saying, oh, this is also what we do. We are also, you know, hard workers, artists, and be a good representation of all Latino community in in Park Slope or in Brooklyn. And sometimes there are a lot of stereotypes about immigrants in general. Uh, yeah, I just want to show that we are here to contribute to society. I also like when people come and they ask me who's the owner, and when I say that it's me, they say, "Oh, wow! I, you know, for some reason I thought it was a white guy. We never wanted to come here for a, for a bit and." But little by little, more and more people come inside and we break this, this barrier of, of, the, of art being so, you know, formal. But always my motivation is to have something that creates an emotion that is kind of funny, makes you feel like, oh, that, that's a funny idea, you know, something unexpected is happening. I encourage people to come here and you know talk to me, talk to Johnny Thornton, the gallery director. Like we're pretty accessible, and you know we 
we follow up if there is like a, a good idea or, or is or someone is interested in collaborating with us.